We're in the park, the perfect place to spend an afternoon. Whether you're sitting, having a picnic, walking with friends, or playing football. <laughs> Sorry. But a day in the park can also be a day of danger. You could fall asleep without sun cream and get sunburned. Ooh, dangerous. Ow. You could get lost and stumble into a forest full of hungry bears. Phew, oh. danger averted. Or you could accidentally forget your money for ice cream and have to watch other people enjoying theirs. Should we play football, then? Yeah, all right, let's do penalties. Oh, hang on. I have got some money after all. I'll race you to the ice cream van. <laughs> Ooh, a minor injury. So what should you do if you sprain your ankle? A, roll around on the grass crying, I'll never compete again. B, apply something cold to the injury for no longer than 10 minutes. Or C, buy the Ankle D Sprainer 2000 and hope it works. The correct answer is B. We need to reduce the pain and the swelling with a cold compress. How's that, Zahn? Well, it's better. But I'm still not happy. I know something that'll cheer you up. Come with me. Oh! oh my ice cream! My clothes! <laughs> hey! <laughs> so remember, if you sprain your ankle, then put something cold on it for no longer than 10 minutes. And if you're worried, tell an adult. In fact, lots of injuries can be helped by putting something cold on them. It's particularly useful for sprains, strains and pulled muscles. This is because it reduces inflammation, stops swelling and can help with pain. So don't forget this cool fact. Nice ones, aren't? Ouch. On Operation Ouch, we've been hitting the hospital wards to show you what goes on. Today, Chris is on duty in the allergy clinic. Prawns, cheese and nuts. What do these three things have in common? Well, obviously, they're all best served dipped in chocolate. Apart from the nuts, that would be disgusting. But foods like this are also the main cause of a problem that some of you may have. I'm talking about food allergy. An allergy can cause the body to react in extreme ways. These pictures show some allergic reactions on the skin. But what is an allergy and why does our body do this? This is consultant Dr. Viba Sharma, a specialist in allergies. She'll tell us everything we need to know. So, Dr. Sharma, what is an allergy? An allergic reaction is when somebody's been given something that they do not agree with and their body reacts to it. What happens when someone gets an allergic reaction? Those that are not severe will cause rashes, they might cause swelling. A small proportion of people can have severe allergic reactions and then they get very poorly. This is Haroon, who has a suspected milk allergy. When I have some, um, something with milk in it, um, I get a bit itchy on my body. And this is Holly, who has a suspected nut allergy. So the last time I had peanuts was when I was 18 months old and I had an extremely big reaction to that. They've both come into the clinic today for allergy testing. We do this test that's called a challenge test. The allergy challenge test means that Haroon and Holly will be taking small bites of foods Dr Sharma thinks they're allergic to. They'll both be monitored closely by the medical team just in case they start to have an allergic reaction. Holly's trying chocolate with nuts in it. She hasn't eaten nuts for 11 years, so how's it going down? I've just had my first bit and so far, so good. Haroon's had one bite of pasta with milk in the sauce. How's he doing? It feels um, like I'm getting a bit itchy. Haroon's itchy skin could be the sign of an allergy, but nothing major is showing yet. Time for a second bite. Anything happening? Second one now and I'm still all right. In fact, after a few more bites of her dreaded food, it's good news for Holly. I've had six pieces of chocolate with mixed nuts in and with no reaction. They confirmed to me that I'm not allergic to any nuts at all. 
So it's thumbs up for Holly. As you grow older, it's possible for the body to build up a tolerance to some allergies. So, one down, one to go. How's Haroon getting on? He's trying another spoonful, and now an even bigger spoonful. The doctors are building him up to a full meal to see his reaction. He started itching a lot. A bit itchy there. And this is definitely an allergic reaction. When this happens, your body releases chemicals called histamines, and this is what makes you itch. The more histamines, the more severe the reaction. The histamines released not only make Haroon itchy, but also cause little bumps on his skin called hives. These bumps are formed by fluid leaking from the blood vessels in the skin. Which means one thing. I'm allergic to the milk in the pasta. We know Haroon's reactions have been really bad in the past, so he's had breathing difficulties which have required a lot of treatment. Uh, but thankfully on this occasion he's got this rash that has alerted us, so um, we're going to now stop the challenge. He's had the medicine and we'll observe him for a little bit longer to make sure that this reaction settles down and that he's not going to develop any more symptoms. So although the body can adapt and overcome food allergies, the allergy challenge has confirmed Haroon's body is still sensitive to milk. He'll need to avoid eating anything with milk in it to make sure he doesn't have a nasty reaction in the future. <laughs>